Welcome to the first installment of Ask Anders. Uh, the first batch of questions will be coming from uh, mfkrboard.com, which is part of MFKR1, which is uh, a great website to get information about uh, the beginning stages of Slipknot and so forth. Uh, first question comes from X9 Draven 9X, and uh, the questions are. Um, how many different versions of lyrics did you write for the song Slipknot? I noticed the basement ones vary from the MFKR version. Then there's the Slipknot slash Sick uh, mix that was played live with Corey on vocals. Um, the first ones I did for the song Slipknot uh, were very, very rough. Obviously the MFKR ones were too. Um, I didn't have the werewolf influence in my lyrics in the very first one because I hadn't started playing it yet and then once I did I started changing the names of things and I was really young and stupid when I was writing those lyrics to begin with so there was a lot of a lot of stuff in there that I didn't uh, believe in anymore by the time we actually rewrote the song with Slipknot um, and then uh, Corey obviously did his own version once once he took over the reins and so there's really three different versions um, and also, how do you feel about the band redoing older songs from your era of singing? I don't have any problem with it. It's theirs, you know. Uh, um, I'm happy for them to do whatever songs they want to do that they wrote. Um, next comes from The Red Rocks. And uh, this is, did you ever have any regrets leaving the band? Well, of course. Um, I'd be a lot wealthier and I'd be having a lot of fun right now, maybe, or maybe not. So right now I have no regrets. Back then, yeah, a little bit. It, it, was, it was hard to take for a while, but uh, got over it like everything else, you know. Uh, next question is coming from The Latex Mask. And the question is, what is the feeling you get knowing you started such a legendary band? Well, that, that's why it's so easy to deal with the fact that I'm not in the band anymore is because I know that I'm part of it. I was part of it, and uh, it was a blast. Those guys are still my friends. They're still, you know, from here, whether they still live here or not, and uh, no matter how often I get to see them. So uh, it's a great feeling to know that I, I had something to do with that, whether I'm in it now or not. Uh, another question by Prosthetic William, and it is, Anders, if I ever meet you, can I hug you for being the, one of the founding fathers of a band that changed my life? Um, I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm going to say, let's see if you have the guts to try it. <laughs> um, and... Uh, I believe for, for now that will be all. I will do another batch of questions very soon. Um, don't forget to sus subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to ask me any questions uh, you may have about anything via YouTube if you'd like to record it um, or in the comment section at the bottom of the page. I am reading this all off of a script here because I'm not good at improv. Corey's really good at improv, not me. Uh, Facebook.com slash Anders Colsefni official and anderscolesefany at gmail.com. They're all good ways to, to get questions to me. Um, if you plant questions on the Facebook page, or I may or may not answer them um, on, uh, on webcam. So it's best to go with these other routes. And if you want me to uh, mention your name or anything else with your question, please include that with the question and I will say your name. If you don't want me to, if you want to remain anonymous, don't put it on there. Anyhow, uh, that wraps it up for today. Go Vikings. Yeah, lovely season we're having. Andrew's out.